Hi, Danny Mullen here. I want to talk to you today about the Max 6675 uh, thermocouple and thermocouple amplifier and the thermocouple itself. And that's what here is in this bag. My shipment just came from China here in the last couple days. I have it right here. We're going to unbox this guy and look at how to hook it up. <clears throat> Okay, so what do we need to do with this product project? Well, we need the 6675 and a thermocouple. We have that. We need some type of proto board. Um, we have that. Of course, we also have the option that I like, which is this is actually a, an Arduino screw shield. And I've used these in the past and I do like them, but for, for such a simplistic project, it seems almost a waste to uh, use the screw shield as they're more expensive, they're better quality, but this is only a few wires. So I'm gonna actually not use that this time. <clears throat> we then need some type of master control board. Well, we have an Arduino Uno, and again, that's a great, great tool for the job. However, what I'm going to use, choose to use on this is something that meets the same exact form factor but has Wi-Fi capability built in and that is the Wemos D1. The Wemos D1 has the same form factor as an Arduino Uno as you can see as I overlay them they look very very in the shape very similar in the shape and the size. Uh, the other thing about the Wemos D1 is it's based on this ESP12 chip this is a Wi-Fi chip and it has about 6 to 10 DI, digital I.O. and uh, one analog input. But the key feature is the Wi-Fi. So that allows me to connect my thermocouple to the proto board, to the Wemos, and do everything wirelessly and tie into my OpenHAB server because the project today that we're making is actually a monitoring, uh, temperature monitoring system for my smoker. So let's get back to this. <clears throat> when I take the thermocouple out of the package, I have something that looks like this. <clears throat> so what we have is we have our amplifier board. That's this guy right here. And as you can see, this little chip right here, it's actually the Max 6675. Um, there's about five pins on here, five pins, one, two, three, four, five. And they're labeled just very simplistically. Um, can't get the focus to work, but it's just data out, chip select, power ground, and um, clock. Because this is actually a spy-based device. So... We're going to need the clock line come to connect the uh, micro to the main board, and then uh, we need both the data in and uh, the chip select, and then of course VCC and ground. The screw terminals are then what's used to connect the thermocouple. So what's going to happen is the thermocouple here is actually going to mount into my smoker, and this is what the thermocouple ender looks like. I'm going to take these nuts off here screw it into my smoker and then put the nuts back on and I'll actually have a good mounting of my thermocouple. We'll go ahead and connect the two wires here to, to the Max 6675 and then on the other side we're going to put this. This is going to get mounted onto the shield here and connect to the data pins on the Wemos. So in the end, it will basically all get sandwiched together and look something like, like this, and we'll be ready to rock and roll and I'll be able to watch my smoker temperature from inside my house instead of having to sit outside. So let me get some of the connections made and then I'll come back and describe to you what I did. So one question that I forgot to answer in our first segment was, what will we need to do this? Well, the first thing we're going to need is wire. So the wire is what we're going to use to make our connections. Next thing we're going to use is I just have some right angle sockets that are five pin. That's going to allow some of my connections to be easily 
done and also allow the thermocouple to be removed if I need to. So basically the thermocouple is getting installed into a socket. <clears throat> the other thing we're going to need is a wire stripper. So we got wire, we're going to need to strip the wire. And lastly, my tool of choice. I do like soldering connections, however, having several years experience in uh, some of the electronics industry, I've always used wire wrap. So I actually have a hand wire wrapping tool right here. This makes really good connections on the post. As you put it onto the post, you spin it a few times, I got a good connection. Now, in my case, I'm gonna touch it up with a little bit of solder just to make it more reliable, but that's technically not necessary. I believe that's the only tools we're gonna require for this installation, and then we'll be done. So the first phase of the project was to wire this up the way I had intended to, but I don't want to solder it yet because that way if I have any problems, I can go ahead and you know make any, any connection changes as I go. So this Frankenstein of a mess actually is working and you can see I actually have two amplifiers and two thermocouples. The reason for that is I wanna track the left side of my smoker and the right side of my smoker. And then when I come over here to the actual uh, serial monitor, you'll see that the left is sending and the right is sending. And that works out really good. My code is very simplistic, uh, very straightforward, and I'm actually doing a 30 sample average over about a two second period. So every minute, it's roughly about a minute average. Uh, the reason for that is this, the thermocouple, if you, if you just watch it independently, it will bounce. It's kind of seems random in some ways. I didn't want that, so I had to smooth it out. So I'm gonna still work a little bit. The 30 piece average works good. I just need to work on the timing because it's still a little slow. However, for smokers, since you're looking at a 12 hour period, uh, one or two minute average is really not a big deal. Anyhow, I'm gonna pause for a moment and go ahead and get this guy soldered all the way up and we'll get back. All right, so here we have it. We have the finished uh, <clears throat> temperature monitor for a smoker. Uh, well, really you could monitor anything, but <clears throat> this is the thermocouple right here, uh, thermocouple number one. And then this one here is uh, thermocouple number two. And what you'll see is that <clears throat> the smoke, the the two thermocouple amp boards are sitting here on this little shield and then I have it underneath. I have uh, the Wemos uh, D1 right there and then I got my USB cable that I'm going to use to power it to a little external battery pack. <clears throat> so my plan is I'm going to put this piece right here in a little plastic dish. <clears throat> Cut a little hole for the thermocouple cords to run out and the USB, and then uh, secure it um, via some straps on my um, <clears throat> smoker leg. And that will allow me to smoke meat and monitor the temperature to smoker. And then what I'll do is just change the battery as required. But this battery here should run uh, this little ESP micro for several hours. So, <clears throat> This way I don't need to run any power cords or have any high voltage electricity go into my smoker. And because of the inexpensive nature of these components, if it burns up due to the heat, I guess I'll just have to build another. So check out uh, energymonitorblog.com. That's where I'll be blogging about uh, these devices and many more. And thank you for watching today. If you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe.